Hey there, YouTube fans, how you going? Um, it, you should see the title of this video. I stopped berberine and this is what happened. Well, I had a, I had a theory that possibly berberine was interacting with my skin and, and making my psoriasis so much worse. Now, I'm not 100% sure um, what the outcome is, but stopping berberine, right, it didn't make any difference. Still have really bad psoriasis. And it is possible if you're on a specific drug, I mean, berberine's natural, that you can still have your psoriasis continue. Um, and, well, that's, that's, that's a possibility. But look, here's the thing. My psoriasis didn't get any better, and, but my blood sugars went out of control again. So what's the point of stopping berberine in my, in my case if my blood sugars are out of control and I still have psoriasis? So I thought, well, at least I'll try and help one of those things. Now, what I did notice, and I, I don't know if this is in the early stages or what, I got a pretty good um, berberine. It's from Solar Ray. Uh, and it's imported. It's um, originally from India. Anyway, it's 500 milligrams three times a day is what I'm working up to. Um, yeah, so when when I eventually took that regularly, and it does take a while to work, um, my blood sugars were fantastic. It was, in my case, fantastic for me is around seven in the Australian standard. So you have to multiply that by 18 for the American standard if you guys can do the math. So I won't do that in my head. But it's 18 times 7, and that'll give you the American standard. Um, 7 is uh, mm, MMOL forward slash L in the UK and Australian standard. So that's it. You know, I, I stopped it. Didn't make any difference. Didn't improve my um, psoriasis just um blood sugars are out of control i mean I, I ate late last night but in the australian standard it was almost 11 i woke up with i had um some crisp bread and baked beans because i was hungry late at night i'm kind of eating all over the place um and woke up with 10.8 i mean it's crazy it's 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 bad for you those kind of blood sugars now the other thing to remember is try not to eat so late like i do i i'm skipping breakfast i just got into this bad habit i'm going to try and change all this around um and, and try and get a few more calories in during the day perhaps or i'm going to do intermittent fasting again i'm not sure which way i'm going to go i think in the short term i'm going to try um, you know, having your meals earlier on in the in the day and night rather than how late I eat. You know, you should, um, in my opinion, and I'm not your doctor, you should stop eating at least a few hours before you go to bed, you know, or else you're going to wake up with these high blood sugars. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody out there. I know a lot of people are subscribed to my channel for the, for the diabetes side and I'm going to keep talking about that. It's so hot here eh, in Australia. I'm going to keep talking about that, I'd say, here and there when I, when I discover things. But just remember, guys, um, part of the big battle with this diabetes and insulin resistance, especially type 2, I'm talking, I, I always, almost always exclusively talk about type 2. The issue is the fatty liver. Apparently, the fatty liver is causing the insulin resistance, which is then causing, um, you know, diabetes. Um, I, I talked to my endocrinologist and I said, look, I, I feel fatigued and I have this theory. And I said, my theory is hyperinsulinemia. So high levels of insulin is causing my fatigue. Now, he didn't really agree. He didn't really disagree. He, he said, like, you're not doing what I want you to do, but you're taking your berberine and it's working for you. And who am I to say, stop taking it? So he's kind of, he's, he sits on the fence about it. 
and because he's got you know he's got um, insurance to pay and he's part of the AMA and all that stuff you know he can't just say go and take this untested herb that's going to help you and that's fair enough of course but I said to him look I notice a huge difference in my blood sugars when I take berberine. Now on that subject, I do notice something else though. When you get a good berberine right, in my case, I'm, get, I'm getting hungrier. So I've even started to put back a few kilos back on. Now I went down with all the stress I've been having, I went down 163 kilograms, um, which is se seven to nine kilograms from my peak weight. But lately, like daily, I've put on a kilo a day, eating normally kind of a little bit less stressed. Um, yeah, so I, I, I went down 163. Now I'm going to try and control myself and use this nice little springboard to try and lose some more weight. Um, now, I just today I was 165, and I've been eating a lot of salt and all sorts of stuff. So hopefully... It's not, it's not 165, it's just the holding a bit more water. Oh, it's so hot here. All right, it's always hot here. Um, I'm sitting in the car without any air conditioning because um, if I turn the car on and put the air conditioning on, the phone, you know, shakes and then you guys don't have a good picture. All right, well, I'll cut this video here. I hope this helps somebody. Listen, drop me a comment. You know, I'm kind of a bit lonely lately, so um, I'd like to hear your comments. Say hello to me, and I'll say hello back if, I, you know, most of the time I do reply because I've got a small channel. But if you enjoy my channel, um, look around, and please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you know, uh, support this channel if you can financially. There's a uh, PayPal donation link there. It will help me to, you know, keep buying good equipment and doing more and more videos um keep safe guys uh in australia we haven't got a big covid 19 problem gee i just said that so i'll never get paid for this video but i don't get paid anyway so what's the difference um yeah we'll keep safe guys and uh have a good one hey eh? thanks for watching my channel remember to like comment subscribe donate cheers guys peace out